welcome to another episode of The Farming Chefs. Today's episode tells the story of how we set up our first regenerative no-dig garden on the farm. Now in January, Philippe has just finished building the trellis structure for the snow peas, and we are harvesting beautiful turnips, which come out of the soil like butter. Our well is filled to the brim, making it easy to give our produce a quick rinse before taking it into the kitchen. The broad beans all germinated and are looking strong. The beetroots are currently at an adorable baby size and we are expecting an excellent harvest in spring. The garden is filled with a variety of different species of vegetables, ranging from salads to beetroots to celery. Philippe has been over the moon especially with his carrot plants, as the soil on our new farm is perfect for carrot growing due to its loose structure and the absence of clay or loam in the soil. The main purpose of this garden is to test the soil, as this soil is significantly different from the soil on our last farm and we were keen to see how things grow before we start setting up our permanent gardens for the coming growing season. The garden is situated right by the well and the barn on the lower part of our farm. This spot was chosen because it was the first of three parts of the farm we managed to get into our possession and we were desperate to start growing something as we missed having food from the farm and were eager to get our hands in the dirt. Our first concern was of course water and without power we needed to find a place where we could gravity feed water to the garden in order to irrigate. We set up a temporary swimming pool slash water reservoir which we pumped water into using an old diesel pump we salvaged from Philippe's grandfather. But first, these three bald beauties had to clean the well, which was very dirty and quite the chore. Once the well was clean, we could start mapping out the garden beds. We marked off 12 beds of 6 meters and dug trenches where we would have the paths. We elevated the beds roughly 5 centimeters or so and filled the paths with wood chips. Topping off the beds with the sifted compost we talked about in the dilapidated barn episode. The garden was built in about 3 days time and was then ready to receive its first plants. Philippe planted the seedlings he had prepared in the greenhouse and we have mindfully been tending to the garden ever since. Finishing off the hole with the fence to keep out dogs and other bigger animals. We are impressed how well the plants did without any serious added nutrients. Due to the high content of sand and granite in the soil, drainage here is very good. Which is great in these winter months, but we foresee this soil will struggle to retain moisture during the hot summer months. But luckily for that we have a game plan at hand. If you are curious to know how we plan on handling next summer's drought or what we made with some of these delicious veggies, do check out one of these two videos. Thank you for watching and if you like what we're doing and would like to see more of our content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It's very much appreciated. But most of all, stay cool guys. See you on the next one. The Farming Chefs. Peace out.